Hello people, this is Self Tuts and we are starting a new series on Markdown. We will see what Markdown is and how to use Markdown language to create beautiful documents for web. So what is Markdown? So Markdown is a way to write content for the web. If you are a developer or a programmer, then you must have come across the language that is called HTML, which is Hypertext Markup Language and this is used to create content for the web. So HTML provides us with so many tags and we use those tags to create the structure of our document and create content for web. So the alternative way through which we can create content for web is called Markdown way. So Markdown allows you to write using an easy to read and easy to write plain text format. So if you create content for web using HTML, then you have tags and it becomes difficult if there is large amount of data in your HTML document. So it is difficult to read, it is difficult to view the document that uh, where the things are if you write it in HTML format. But if you write it using Markdown then it is easy to re read, it is easy to write and it is in plain text format. So it convert it into structurally valid HTML or XHTML. So what Markdown does that it converts the markdown language or the markdown text that you have written which is plain text format into valid html or xhtml so what does internally happen is something like this that there is a markdown document which is written on the basis of markdown syntax and then we use markdown parser which converts that into valid html or xhtml so ultimately or finally we get the document as the html format but to write those HTML document in a quick way, in a fast way and in a better way which is easy to read, easy to write and which is in plain text format, we use Markdown language. So there is nothing about that Markdown is being rendered but there is a Markdown parser or there is a Markdown tool which converts this Markdown syntax into valid HTML syntax. So it provides us with very easy syntax. We will see in subsequent videos that Markdown provides us with a very easy syntax which is easy to understand and you can write beautiful documents in just 10 to 20 minutes you will take to learn that and then you can write beautiful HTML documents through it. Now you must be wondering that I have talked so much about Markdown but where do we see Markdown language where it is being used. So the most important place that is used is in GitHub. So if on GitHub, we can host our repositories, we can host our projects and every project needs a documentation that what it is about and how to use it, how to install it, etc, etc. So you need to provide some documentation for your project and the documentation is done in Markdown language. So you need, you create readme files in uh, this GitHub project and those readme files are being read by GitHub to generate the documentation for your project. Same way Atlassian Bitbucket is also there where we create repositories and we upload our program files with readme files and these readme files contain the documentation for our project. Also the stack overflow if you are a programmer then you must have come to any problem and you must have got a solution from stack overflow website. So stack overflow allows us to write our comments, allows us to write our question and answer in markdown format so you will write the answers or your question in markdown format and it will get converted into html or it will display beautifully on your stack overflow website and then in wordpress wordpress provides us a way to write the blocks in markdown format which will be displayed in html format so we'll go to our uh, browser and we'll visit github and from there we can go to the explore that what are the different repositories that are present and inside our any section like programming languages we'll go inside programming languages to see what repositories are present so inside this apple swift we'll go there and we can see that this is the repository for apple swift programming language and every project in github or bitbucket contains a readme.md file so the extension that we use is .md for markdown so the thing that you see here the things that are written is written using markdown language so you can see that how beautiful it looks that codes are present here then 
headings are present here then uh, you can provide links are present here so all these things are written using markdown language so this readme file is this readme.md file is being rendered here you can see the readme.md file is being rendered here you can use images you can use different heading tags etc and you can see it is very easy to it is very beautiful to read but if you go to this readme.md file and if you see the raw format that what is the way it has been written then you can see this is the way that it has been written it is simple plex, plain text format like system requirement is there mac os is there then these links are there then you can see uh, codes are there so these are the codes that are present here so you can see that by reading this file this is a simple text format you can read there is no html tags which are present so this is the markdown language that it is simple plain text format and we'll see the syntax in subsequent videos same way if you'll go to other repositories like suppose i go for another repository here like microsoft typescript so the typescript also contains a readme.md file which you can see here the readme.md file is there and the same readme.md file is present here you can see that heading tag is present then there is an underline element so these things can be created using markdown syntax so we'll see in subsequent videos that how easy it is to create now you must be wondering that how i should write my things in markdown format and to see the html or the beautiful pages so if you are on windows then you can install markdown pad so I'll search for Markdown Pad and you can see here Markdown Pad is there. So you can just go there and you can download it from here and you can install it. It is just installing like a simple Windows software. If you are on Mac OS, then you can install for MOU. Uh, a software is there which, which is used for writing in Markdown and displaying in HTML. Many online tools are also available which you can use like suppose I'll say online markdown editor then you can get a list of these tools like this one or uh, means there are so many stack edit browser editor markdown so there will be two sections I think okay I live preview is there so you can go to this website you can see here another one is this one and you can go here this will open and you can see here this is the markdown way you write your document here in this section and the disk and it will be displayed here so many online tools are available also you can find for a very good one by your own i use uh, generally i am very proficient in writing with markdown language so i write in my readme.md file and directly upload it to the github but before uploading it you can uh, see that how it looks everything is correct or not so you can use this dillinger.io website to see that or if you are on windows then you can use the markdown pad so i'll show you the markdown pad and markdown pad is here which i have installed and you can see that there is the same thing that we have seen on the web that this side we write the markdown language and here it will be displayed beautifully in html pages so this was all about what markdown is I'll convince you that please use Markdown for all your documentation because nowadays it has become an industry standard kind of thing. And if you'll write in Markdown, then you can write uh, blogs in it, you can write documents in it. And so many good things can be written in simple text press format, which is easy to read and easy to write. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and please give a thumbs up. Thank you.